summertime. Hey. Summer, summertime. Free soft. I'm with Lay. Yo, my people, what's going on? It's Elijah Fenn here with Fenn Unboxing. Back with another one. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Yes, it's the post fight review on Canelo and Billy Joe giving my feedback on the fight. So, uh, yeah, obviously, I'm going to talk about whether did, did Billy Joe quit or not um, down the line. But let me just give my full breakdown of the, of the fight and how it, overall performance is. Uh, Billy Joe, I'm going to be really honest with you. I was a bit disappointed in his in his performance. I wanted to see I wanted to see a lot of lateral movement from Billy Joe from the get go. He started off too slow. Now I don't know whether it's the occasion that got to him or yeah. I don't, like I said, I don't know. But like I said, he obviously he did. He was out there. He he came to win, and he was not gonna get knocked over. He was gonna yeah. He wasn't gonna get knocked over. So. Um, yeah, so the first round it came it came with a I did have Billy Joe. It, it could have gone either way, but I did give um the first round to Billy Joe. Round two, round three was Canelo. Round four I gave Billy Joe I think five and six. Even I'm pretty sure I even gave seven. And Canelo I gave eight. And then yeah, it literally just stopped there. But yeah, let's obviously let me just talk about the full the full breakdown of the fight. Um, I've always said from I've said this well before even I started this whole YouTube um, boxing um, videos and that. I've always said Canelo is slow on his feet. I've always said it for years and years and years. I said to beat Canelo is footwork. He struggles with movers. He struggles with speed. Um, you can't you can't sit in a pocket with him. You can't. Um, like I said, because like I said, that typical is that Mexican style where he's coming with like mean intentions. Like the, the way he was ripping Billy Joe to his body, like you could tell Billy Joe has never been hit like that before. Um, yeah, obviously, but Billy Joe what did came in there to win. But me, just being honest, I felt yeah, I just. Obviously, like I said, big shout out to Mark Tibbs. Big shout out to Mark Tibbs, and obviously we know um, Mark Tibbs is all about you know just let like ripping into the shots. But if I'm honest, if I'm being honest, like I would have preferred to see Billy Joe a lot on his feet, and maybe he should have gone with um, Engel. That's just my personal opinion. I just feel like footwork frustrate the hell out of Canelo. That's another thing I didn't see from Billy Joe. Obviously, apart from the whole sticking the tongue out and saying, come on, and whatever. But, you know, like in between rounds, um, when Canelo was missing, yeah, he, he, Billy Joe should be showing the, like I said, just disrespecting. He's like, what, is that all you got? Like, every time, like, because Billy Joe was making Canelo miss. Yeah, especially during the mid-rounds. And this is where you want to try and just frustrate him. Frustrate him, make him overstretch, make him overreach. Um... What, 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 what else did I say from there? But, yeah, you could... Yeah, Billy Joe, obviously, like, he, he didn't come to lie down. He didn't come to get a pay... Um, to get a... Um, to get paid. Yeah, he, he was going in there with the attitude to win. And, yeah, big respect to him. But I just feel like his performance overall, he could have done a lot better. That's just me just being real. Um, Canelo... Canelo, like I said, doing what he's done. <laughs> yeah, you can't. Canelo done what done what he's done. Um, outside, like I said, once again, outside the mid rounds, where Billy Joe was making Canelo uh, like this overreach for his shots, making him miss miss like I'm even he tried to throw what's it? Try for a left hook and Billy Joe just rolled under the rolled under the shot. Like yeah, it was it was making Canelo missed miss a lot, but. It was not, yeah, it was just not enough. I just feel like didn't see a lot of lateral movement from Billy Joe. He was very heavy on his feet from what I see. And I, to be honest with you, I even saw that even when he fought um, Martin Murray. And I remember even watching the Martin Murray fight, I said that, look, if he's going to have this kind of performance, and I'm not and I'm not referring to, one thing I want people to realise is, I'm not referring to, I'm referring to he's just sitting sitting in to take his shots too much and as it like he's sitting in 
letting, letting his hands go and not really using his feet. And this is where I felt, well, I've always thought that Dominic Ingle would have been the, that, that would have been um, an ideal option because, like I said, I've put up in Ingle, the Ingle Gym's footwork and that is, the footwork would have frustrated Canelo. I'm telling you, even like I said, the seeing the little bits in the mid rounds, I'm like, there, that's your blueprint. That's how you beat this guy. But when I say you beat this guy, it doesn't mean you get the decision. Though. <laughs> so yeah, you you need to knock this guy to get a, you need to knock this guy out to get a draw, and that's just the, that's just the honest. That's the, just, just just being honest. But yeah, um, I would say for an overall overall performance, yeah. It would, Billy Joe would definitely look back. Uh, then again, it could be it may, maybe because of inactivity. Like Canelo's being active, but maybe Billy Joe, yeah, just being just being inactive, could have played its part. Yeah, I just don't know. Like I, I just felt Billy Joe could have done better. That's just yeah, that's just me being real. But me saying that he could have done better, I still had him up. Uh, but I did feel like um, Canelo was going to stop him. I did feel that. I remember even I um, was talking to one of my clients actually, um, and I said, "You know what? The, by the way he's looking, I could actually see um, Canelo catching him, catching him." And yeah, it was a it was a footwork for me, man. I know I keep repeating it, but it was a footwork. He should have just, yeah, just been on his toes, boxing and using that ring from the get-go and not trying to go in there, try and trade off fade, um, trade off of him and set up traps, box him, move him, fuss, fuss straight the hell out of Canelo. But, hey, um, outside, outside of that, yeah, he's still, like I said, he's still putting a good performance Running back by with what I was saying about Canelo now. Now with Canelo, um, yeah, he just yeah, it wasn't. It was not. It would. I would say it was Canelo's best performance. But you could just tell. You could just tell Canelo knew he was going to catch him at some point. Now, the shot that yeah, the shot that obviously that yeah, the pull the pull counter like obviously I always, that's one of actually one of my favorite shots. I always talk about it at pull counters. But I had to go running back um, when Billy Joe obviously dropping his hands. But when he threw the, obviously, I thought, I thought it was, I thought, I'm pretty sure it was a right hook. He threw a right hook or a right upper leading into a hook. And then obviously leading into the hook, obviously Canelo pulled back. Obviously he's calmed down, the hands dropped here. And then he's going down, he's going down where, where that poor count is coming in. Like even I remember, like I said, I even remember hearing that shot, and I was like, "Whoa!" Sound like that sound like something cracked. Like sound like a, like he cracked, he cracked something there. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. From from there it was done. It was done. And big shout out to Mark Tibbs because I'm pretty sure what I was told that Mark Tibbs actually pulled Canel pulled um, Billy Joe out of the fight. Uh, which was the best decision because if you went it, if you went in there um, for another round, going out there round nine, it would have been just yeah, it would have it would have been a very bad night. And to be honest with you, forget what the fans are saying. Um, obviously, I'm going to be talking about that in the next video, but um, yeah, just yeah, Billy Joe. I I personally do not believe Billy Joe quit. Um, if the if the if your if your trainer has pulled you out, your coach has pulled you out of the fight, they're concerned, then yeah. You can't you can't you can't be saying that you can't be saying um he's quit. And I know and which I will be getting at and in, in the next video about with Eubank Jr. because there's something I'll be speaking about on that. But as an overall, um yeah. It just depends on how bad the how bad the injury is. But Canelo, now let's just run through and let's just talk about Canelo now. Now, Canelo, where, where does he go from here? So, obviously, he's a Caleb Plant. Now, um, Caleb Plant will be another guy who will cause Canelo problems. But my thing with Caleb Plant is he ain't got, he ain't got the punching power. Uh, does he have enough to even lack it? You don't, might, you don't even have to have punching power, but punch that concern Canelo. That will concern because to be honest with you, I can see Caleb Plant, yeah, 
doing exactly the same thing, slipping, moving, pivoting, like everything. I can see, I can see it all. But you need more than that to beat Canelo. Uh, if that fight goes ahead, the undisputed, yeah, in Cinco de Mayo, uh, September, be watching it. Um, obviously, you've your, you will be going for a Canelo. Benavides is the only guy right now that I can see. Even like I said, even Caleb, if Caleb Plant had punching power, I would give Quip Plant a, a like uh, opportunity. But I remember even listening to Spencer Florian in one video saying about um, Benavides, and I remember going back and watching Benavides. My only concern with Benavides, obviously, is his discipline. But I feel like Benavides does have the skill set to beat Canelo. Now, obviously, he is a big target. He's a big target, and, it, and for Canelo, it could be hittable, but his hand speed, I believe, will cause Canelo a lot of problems. Go running back, the same thing with um, Amir Khan. But, yeah, obviously with Canelo, uh, yeah. Okay, like I said, good, good performance. Um, yeah, like I said, get, get, get this undisputed belt, get that going on. And like I said, what, he's, what Canelo's doing for boxing right now, yeah, big respect, man. Big respect. Like I said, the Canelo's actually one of my favourite fighters, but I'm going to be a realist in it. And what I'm saying that when people are saying about Canelo's unbeatable, he's very beatable. He's been beaten before. Should have been beaten three times, but he is beatable. And like I said, there is a way of beating Canelo. Um, like I said, you just, you, just, you, you just need lateral movement, footwork, a solid jab, and frustrate the hell out of him. And yeah, that's how you beat him. Don't think you could ever go out there and... Like I said, and trade with him, and you gotta be on your A game because one thing about Canelo, he can let those like every single shot that he was landing to Billy Joe's body. Jeez, every single shot you can just hear it, boom, boom, like the impact. It's like jeez. So yeah, but yeah, man, that's a, that's just my thoughts on it. You lot tell me your thoughts. Um, Overall performance, uh, yeah, I'm well, going back again and I say this, yeah, I don't feel Billy Joe Saunders quit. Um, obviously, I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought when, it, when it first happened, I thought that um, he didn't want to get out, but then obviously now hearing that Mark Tibbs said that no, he didn't want to have him out, and Billy Joe was not responding the way he wanted to be responded, he waved it on. You can't, you can't call that quit. The, the the coach saved him for another day. Big respect to Mark Tibbs, by the way. Um, put put in put in your put in your fights first. Big respect for that. And yeah, Billy Joel bounce back, bro. Um, I hope, obviously, I hope uh, I hope the injury is not career ending. Uh, yeah, bounce back and yeah, man. Just yeah, just yeah. Keep your head up, man. Um, and yeah, just keep your head up. And there's not no way you need to be ashamed about what you what you've done. You came in there, you came in there, wanting to win. That's all. That's all we could ask for, innit? That's all we could ask for. So yeah, be proud of yourself, man. That's what. That's what I got to say for that. And yeah, just keep your head up, man. Stay blessed. And for everyone else, yeah, just make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. There's a larger fan here with fan unboxing. Until the next one, stay blessed, everyone. All right, cool. Summertime, hey. summer, summertime, 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 summ